welcome to another video in this video i'm gonna be showing how to respawn the player at the previous checkpoint so with that let's get into it so first we're gonna start off in the player controller in the player controller we're gonna go down to the variables and add a new variable we're gonna call this respawn location and we're gonna set this to type transform now the reason why i'm setting the variable in the player controller instead of in the vehicle where the code will actually be used is so that if you expand on the system instead of having added a set respawn location variable in the bp tracker where it's going to be set you only have one variable and then you will just use that for every vehicle that you add in the game that the player can own and drive so instead of having multiple set respawn locations you only have one and then use it on each vehicle so with that compile and save and then we're going to go over to the bp tracker in the lab check function down by the activate next checkpoint we're going to grab a couple of pieces of code here we're going to grab the local checkpoint the checkpoint and the get just check over that Control c move over a bit Control v and then grab the local checkpoint, drag it out a bit, and then drag off from there, and then look for the subtract. And then turn the zero to a one, and then connect that to get. And then from the get, we're gonna say get actor transform. So now we're gonna get the actor transform, and then we're gonna pull in the as player controller reference, hold control and drag it in. And then from the as player controller reference, we're gonna drag off and say set respawn location, and then connect the get actor transform to the respawn location, and then connect the executionable from the activate checkpoint, connect that up, and then as well from the update lab, we're also gonna drag that one off and set it over here. So now with that, this then gets the location of the previous checkpoint and then sets that as the respawn location for the player. Drag over everything, add a comment, and then say, uh, set respawn location to previous checkpoint. Then when I compile and save, and then when I head over to the sports car porn, and then in here, before we add the code, we're first gonna create a function which we're gonna call respawn check. And then this will check if the vehicle needs to be respawned. So to get the code for that, we are going to first say, right click and then say get actor up vector. So we got the up vector and we're gonna drag off from the return value and look for a dot product. And then by the Z value for the top product, we're going to turn the 0 to a 1. So we're going to set it default to 1. And then from the pin, we're going to drag off and say lesser than. And then we're going to put the lesser than at 0 0.5. And then from the lesser than, we're going to drag off and say and the end boolean. So we need two pieces of code. And then the second part of the code, we are then going to go down to the variables by the components and drag in the chaos wheeled vehicle movement component hold control drag it in and then we're going to drag off from there and say get forward speed and then we're also going to drag off from the get forward speed and look for a lesser than and we're going to put the lesser than at 0 0.5 then connect that to the end so if the vehicle's up vector is less than 0 0.5 and the vehicle is moving at a speed lesser than 0 0.5 then only will the vehicle be respawned so from the end we're going to drive off and search for a branch node and then connect it to the respawn check node and then from here, we are then going to need a local variable. So in the my blueprint panel, down by the local variables, add a new local variable. We're gonna call this one stuck with a question mark. 
and then we're going to hold alt and then drag in the new creative variable we're going to control c control v and then we're going to connect the true to the top one the false the bottom make sure the top one is checked and then we are then going to drag off from either one of them and then look for a return node and then by return node we're going to add an output and that's output we're going to call it player is stuck i'm going to leave it as a boolean then i'll connect the bottom set stuck to it as well and then we're going to hold control and then drag in the local variable and connect that to the player is stuck pin And then with that, we have set up the respawn check function. Drag over everything, add a comment, and then say check if player is stuck. Then we're gonna compile and save. And then we're gonna head over to the event graph. And then here, we're gonna go to the event tick. And then between the set angular dampening and the set delta seconds we are going to drag off from the set delta seconds and then look for a sequence node and then from the sequence node then one we're going to drag off and look for the respawn function the respawn check which was created and then from the place that we're going to drag off and look for a branch node and then from the true drag off again and then add a delay so the delay is here, let's say for instance, you crash into the wall or to into another player or the AI and the player and, the, and your vehicle tips over to the side. So instead of respawning you instantly to the previous checkpoint, there's going to be a little bit of delay to see if the vehicle can get back onto its wheels. But if not, then it will respawn you at the previous checkpoint. So for test purposes, I'm going to set mine to 1.5 don't want to wait too long and then we're just going to copy the respawn check and the branch node and then paste it after the delay connect it and then from the true we're going to drag off and say set actor transform and then it's going to ask you for a new transform so you go down and drag in the as player controller hold control drag it in and then from the as player controller drag off and say get respawn location and then you add connect that to the new transform and then make sure you check the teleport else the code will not work so with that the code is added and i'm going to compile and save and then go test it out and see if it works but before we test it out we are going to add a little obstacle here it's going to help us out by the level prototyping under meshes we're going to add the sm ramp into the scene and then just make a couple of changes to it okay so now with that we're ready save all and then play the level see the code works And then when I go, drive through the checkpoint, and then hopefully flip the vehicle. Okay, sweet, then I flip the vehicle. But that's why the delay was added, otherwise we would have flipped us over instantly. Let's try this again. Okay, vehicle is not flipped. Once it comes to a halt, and then you get respawned at the previous checkpoint. So with that, the code works. That is the end of the video. We before that, if in the code by the respawn check, by the dot product, let's say for instance, you left this at, let's say zero, you forgot to change this and you go and play the level, uh, you might get respawned out in the middle of nowhere because, well, zero is less than 0 0.5 and if you're standing still it's going to constantly attempt to respawn the vehicle so make sure in the respawn check by the 
third product is e set to one so as to avoid that problem and then that's it so with that that marks the end of the video and until the next one